Hello guys, KP Shamino here with a new video for Ultimate Fishing Simulator The Playtest. And I'm going to show you guys today, uh, yeah, the rod pots. So they just introduced it with bite alarms. Uh, it's still a little bit clunky at the moment, but it, it's not that bad. So uh, let's have a look. And uh, we are going to fish with it a little bit too on the silver carp here. So it was a nice surprise. Uh, because I always like that they implement uh, new stuff and it seems that they didn't do it that bad. It's only very expensive at the moment because uh, the bite alarms are like 6000 currency or something but that's not really a problem, it's a playtest. So if you go to the shop and you go now here under accessories, you will see that you can buy a rod pot. Uh, you can put three rods in it. And you can buy the bite alarms. So the bite alarms are almost 6,000. And uh, the rod pot is 2,000. So I bought myself uh, one bite alarm and one rod pot. And then you can come here to equipment. And you can see here in accessories once again. So what do you need to do? You just need to uh, use it. And here you can put the bite alarms on it. So you need to have three of them if you want to uh, got on every part of the rod pot. So on every rod a bite alarm. So I put it already here. One of my bite alarms in the future I'm probably going to buy two other. And then you just need to use it and then you can run around with it. it it's not bad done but the main problem is what I see now is this. So <laughs> it's like... It, it's just a little bit player friendly, but you just throw your rod pot on the ground and fuck this shit and here we go. Maybe they can do it a little bit like uh, that you see like on the ground how your rod pot is going to stand and that it's most of the time just stand right because if you throw it like this it's, it's like... I think there is not one fisher that put his rod pot like this. They always try to find that it's balanced. Uh, but that was the first thing that I saw. Uh, a rod pot of $3,000, just throw it on the ground and you are already good. But that's just a little bit tuning that they need to do. And then the other thing, so I got now uh, this setup. So it's a feeder setup, it's the biggest that you can have because you need to get universal feeder. So I just got here my feeder and uh, here we go. So uh, I need to take number two. And this is a little bit clunky at the moment because if you are fishing with one rod it's not really a problem. But what do you need to do? So you need to throw in the water and then you need to be at the right part of the rod pot. You guys can see it with E. Uh, you need to put it on the, the, the right part. And that's a little bit clunky too. So I think it's better that they just work with like one two or three or something that i can now put one and that it puts it in one because it's going to be hard if you use three rods to get the right rods it's a little bit in, in fishing planet we need to do it shift one two three and that's a lot faster otherwise you're never going to do the monkey style and get your rods because if you got the bite everywhere it's not going to work that well and then we throw in and that's another thing that i saw so even if you got straight line and let's have a look for a brief moment that it's still going... Oh. I guess this is a graphical bug or maybe it's on the bottom. And what I see now, you guys can see I'm going to reel a little bit. And now you can see there is no um, slack in my line. So what you need to do now is you need to come now to this. If I put it here, it's going to be on this part. And do you guys see right away what I mean? So... So there is no slack in my line and if I put it in the rod pot, there is coming slack in my line. You see, they need to fix that too, that it's nicely straight. Uh, but yeah, it works really well. You guys can see it right away. And now with one rod, it's not really a problem to pick it up. But in the future, with uh, with the other rods, if you got more than one, it's going to be a problem. I already know that because it's going to be frustrated. So let's do another throw in the water. Here we go, then we put it here. So the bite alarms, they work really decent. It's not that too loud. Uh, but uh, for the other fact, it's not bad that they introduced it. And I, I like the design too. It's it's not bad executed. Just a little bit player friendly things that they need to 
uh, get in the game. But it, it was a really good surprise because I thought that they were just fixing like bugs and all that stuff. But it seems that they are working and they work on the right way on it. So right way bite alarms, a good rod pot, not, not a crap that uh, they do decent work. And that's what I like uh, a lot about it. Uh, so uh, that's that's not bad. That gives me a good feeling that they are on the right track uh, for this game. And that's uh, really good. And there is another fish. So let's wait a little bit. Let's put E again. Here we go. So another silver carp. So it works really well. And the fish hooks himself to it seems. Not the entire time. Because if you wait a little bit. He's gone the fish. Uh, but at the end. They did a really good job. So what do they need to change so that you don't throw your rod pot at the ground that's very important because you can't just pick it up again if i can put this away here we go so and then you can right click and then it's gone but now the main problem is i need to use it again uh, so uh, i need to come back to equipment you need to do this again, use it again. So, they need to fix this, that you don't throw it at the ground. They need to find a solution that you can pick up really quick uh, the rods. So, number one, three, two, a lot quicker, because this is not going to work if you always need to hover over it. But for the other fact, they did already a very good job. So, I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's a pity that we don't have the, the very heavy rod uh, f uh, the feeder rods already but that's something for the future but this is already very good thanks for watching have fun bye bye